Well, I guess you'd describe him as a near problematic drinker. I can account one story. We actually lived in rooms next to each other in a quite old building. The walls were very thin. And um, uh, there was a period where uh, Mal's last conscious gesture of a evening would be to fall into bed and with his hand switch his radio to a full volume. Now it didn't matter what time it occurred, often it was well after midnight, often it was hours after I'd been asleep. And I would uh, thump on a wall and tell him to turn it off, sometimes less successfully than others. Anyway, one particular night, quite cold, and uh, this occurred and the, the noise shattered uh, the evening. And after hammering on the wall and using some pretty unambiguous language to Malcolm to, to turn the bloody thing off, I heard no reply. Now, we had been issued with uh, those uh, single bar radiators without, at the time, any grill on them. And it was the only thing that was used to heat these old rooms. And as I, I pushed my way into his room and I could smell something, I thought it was burning leather. So I remain the only person I know who ever put Malcolm out, because when I got into his room, he was on fire. Well, at least his shoe was, and his shoe was still on his foot. So I've got to say, I turned the radio off first, then I put him out. <laughs>